than 50 suspected members of Iron and the Skin Confraternity at Saturday night invaded Mbiabong Ikos SN village in Uyo local government area of Akwa Ibom State and allegedly killed six persons suspected to be members of both court groups. It was gathered that the Iron Confraternity allegedly beheaded a member of the Skin Court group a few weeks ago and they later launched a reprisal attack last night but was also confronted by members of the Iron Confraternity. It was further gathered that six suspected courtes, three from each group, were killed at the attack. The village head of Mbiabong, Ikos Essen, Etedum, Usia, Okon told our correspondent who visited the area that one person from his area was killed. Chief Okon, who narrated that the suspected courtes invaded his residence and vandalized his properties, wondered why some youth could engage in activities that would not make positive impacts on their lives. He, however, condemned the attack, the act of courtesy, and encouraged them to turn a new leaf. Narrating his experience last night, the village head said, As I was lying down in front of my house last night, half asleep, the voice of my second son woke me up because I heard him shouting, Mommy, Mommy, go inside. My wife ran inside and inside the house, leaving her phone outside. Then I saw a group of boys, over 150 in number, some with matches. I managed to go inside so that those boys would not harm me, but... They started destroying my windows, doors, maybe to gain entrance. But one person from their group told them to stop, and that was how they stopped vandalizing my property. They were still chanting, Boys are hungry. Boys are hungry. That night also, they entered some homes as soon as the owners flee. They would loot whatever they saw there. I called the police at Shelter Africa that night and informed them about the incidents. Also, this morning I went there to make an official entry. I don't know what some boys are turning into. I learned this morning that six of their people died. It is 50-50. That is three from each group. One of them I learned died this morning at the hospital. He was caught with matches and he bled to death this morning. When contacted, the police public relations officer in Aquaibon State, S.D. Udiko Magdon, said he was yet to be briefed on the incident, promising to update members of the public as soon as he receives information on that. He noted that the Commissioner of Police, C.P. Andrew Amegeme, was determined to clamp down on court activities in the state. I am yet to be briefed on the killing immediately i receive information on the incidents i will inform you but be assured that the commissioner of police cp andrew amirgeme will not relent in clamping down on courtism in the states <laughs> the i think the elder or the monarch there saying that he doesn't know what they are turning into according to what he said from what he narrated and he said they they were hungry they were hungry they need food or they need something. That is what this country has turned into. This country has turned into something else. Everywhere, crime, 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 crime. Hmm. Crime, crime. And some people who call themselves elder, elders, they are not saying anything. They are just comfortable with all this. They are just looking. Uh, something led to all this thing now. It did not just happen all of a sudden. Every time you hear there's a, there's ho there are hoodlums everywhere. They will tell you, oh, don't protest oh, because the hoodlums will hijack it. These are the people that most of the time they always hijack any form of protest. Something led. Who were the people that bred this, these hoodlums? The same society. But you can you see all our politicians, until they, f they realize they, to do the right thing. If they fail to do the right thing and they continue in this their, this their attitude, irresponsible and rascal attitude, thinking that, they, oh, me and my children, me and my children, uh, every other person, you're on your own. If you live fine, if you are if you, if you you are dead, it is none of their business. In as much as their own immediate families are okay, members of the, their immediate family are fine. That is it. You still see them flaunting wealth here and there. The police are supposed to do the needful. They are even now handicapped. People are even calling for 
for them to be secured, whether vigilante will not go and be securing police, it's because it's as bad as that. The man said, oh, he doesn't know what they are looking for. He doesn't know what they are turning into. They, they are hungry because if they are fully uh, employed and they are committed to doing something, I'm sure they will not have this, uh, they will not be into all these uh, activities. And also, even if there's going to be crime, because there's nowhere that is free of crime, at least it will be, it should be in a reduced manner not what we have now free for everybody just do what he likes the police cannot even handle them even the nigeria army cannot even handle them it's as bad it's as bad as that it's as bad as that hmm. the youth uh, is this how the youth will lead the nation not this category of youth will lead the nation there are other youth categories that are better than this of course of course the good the bad and the ugly, we have it in this country. Even as much we are even complaining about it, some elders, we still have a good elders, just that there are not many. The bad ones are all over the place. They are, the bad ones are the ones leading all over the place. So, but irrespective of that, the youth that we are talking about, that they, oh, they are going to lead this nation. <clears throat> if all these ones are not going to be well taken care of, uh, those other youth we still have problem. They will still have problem. Answers protesters at work. Okay, this one's peaceful states. Yeah, all the peaceful states now they are becoming something else. They are becoming something else. There's no way you want to go now that you are going to, you know, have a very, very you have a peace of mind or you are going to be very, very comfortable. No, and like I said, the ones that are giving they are being given the mandate to see the affairs of the people, they are busy doing something else. They are busy enjoying them, themselves and their families. But see how the country has turned into. The country has turned into something else. What is happening in the north, that one is, is unimaginable. You go to the south, the same thing. South is the same thing. You go to the southwest, the same thing. And almost all those people who are working, who are disturbing the, in the north, they are the ones, even in the south. Though we have a... Some of those uh, uh, criminals as well in order in the in the southern part of the country, but because of the way the government has been doing, you know, you see that uh, when some people commit an offense, they go scot free. But if others do that, they will not go scot free, and that's why you see that there's if there's a kind of alignment, there's kind of alignment between all of those uh, whether they are coming from the north or they are coming from outside the country, they are now the ones the local ones. Some of them are aligning with all those ones. And that is why the whole thing is going to be so terrible because they believe that those ones are untouchable. So the best place is to, is to join hands together with them. And we, I think, and we think that there is no fire on the mountain. There is fire on the mountain. 